Hey everyone, in the news this week, Greta Thunberg was arrested once more. It seems she's back to campaigning for environmental causes rather than trying to continue to link migration and welfare to her overall save the world policies. To her credit though, I guess it would do a lot to shut down the global oil industry if she somehow encouraged the governments of Scandinavia to drain all the millions of skilled workers away from the oil fields in the Middle East. Personally, I've never been quite sure what they're expected to wear when they get to sunny Oslo or Stockholm. I mean, fur clothing is obviously out apparently, but then even fake furs and polymer clothing is bad for the planet. One time I had on a winter coat and I had to tell a green activist that the dinosaurs killed to make the oil were all killed very humanely by that huge mass of meteorite. There's probably also a joke in there about Stockholm Syndrome, but I'll save that for another day. Although I did see a story about an immigrant Muslim cleric in the news apparently proclaiming that women in the West should be banned from watching or attending men's football. Although given the state of a couple of teams, most notably Everton and Chelsea, sometimes those extremists have a bit of a point to be honest. Elsewhere, the Ukraine diplomacy story is now taking a farcical turn after the West asked them to stop attacking Russian fuel depots and oil refineries and to presumably focus on killing people. This is all due to it being an election year and Russia remaining one of the largest oil exporters in the world, despite everybody lying about sanctions and oil imports. There's also a fairly similar story about the Middle East, where Joe Biden apparently wants a ceasefire, not so that people stop being killed, but again simply so that oil prices will go down, and thus lower the price of a tank of petrol, or gasoline as they call it, or at least that's what his election advisors want. I can hardly see the president tracking oil futures on a personal basis, although I could perhaps see him passing a law to ban fracking because he thought it was a curse word. Anyway, see you next week. Like these clips, subscribe.